Hey, how's it going guys and welcome back to another Stock Kings YouTube video and today we'll be going over a SPAC company, Fintech Acquisition Corp or ticker symbol FTCV. Now this stock has obviously increased immensely as of yesterday going up over 40% and that is because they just announced an, their acquisition of eToro which is, which is an online trading platform. And if you guys haven't heard of eToro before, they are mostly focused on international markets. However, they are popular here in the U.S., but uh, most of their revenues come from European markets. So if you haven't heard of eToro, that is most likely why. But as you can see, as soon as this uh, acquisition was announced, we have a huge increase. We have the day before closing at 1071 and then yesterday closing at 15. 29. So we have a huge increase just because of the announcement of this acquisition. And we're going to be going over uh, kind of what this acquisition is and kind of what it means for this stock. I'll also be trying to go over some technical analysis and plot some lines on this chart and kind of show you guys where you can enter and uh, where you can kind of get in on um, FTCV in the future. But before we get into any of that, if you guys like this video, please drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you know whenever we come out with a new video. I always appreciate the support on this channel. Thank you guys so much for that. And I also have my Instagram linked down below. I post new details about this channel daily. So if you'd be interested in that please go and follow that as well but again looking at this we have the daily chart we have this huge candle pushing up uh this is a daily candle all the way to 1528 on the close and then at the peak it was around 1575 however in the pre-market here on um wednesday we are seeing a definitely uh drop a considerable drop in price people looking to sell out on this gain that they got uh which is is totally fine and we talk about this all the time on this channel people selling the news but it gives people who are just now hearing about this acquisition um a potential to get in at a cheaper price so we're looking at around 1355 in the pre-market but i could see this stop stock continuing to drop throughout today especially as overall markets were definitely down yesterday we might be seeing that again today so uh, we'll be planning some support and resistance lines and seeing where we can get in on the stock and the best entries later in the video but for now let's get into uh this news on this spac merger um we're here on the motley fool why spac stock fintech acquisition corp skyrocketed today so again, what happened, we talked a little bit about this earlier, but they went up 43% on Tuesday after the special purpose acquisition company SPAC announced its plans to merge with Robinhood rival eToro. So eToro is pretty similar to Robinhood. However, they, again, they are more focused on the European kind of markets and um, the global markets for uh, this kind of thing. And they are also kind of similar to SoFi as well, if you guys are familiar with SoFi. But let's get into this. Uh, uh, eToro bills itself as the world's leading social trading platform. It allows more than 20 million registered users across over 100 countries to share their investment strategies and follow the buy and sell transactions of other top performing traders. So what their uh, kind of platform does, it's, it's very, the social aspect is kind of the big thing here is you can almost follow people and see what other top traders are doing and you can set it to where your trades follow their trades. So that's kind of an important thing here for eToro is that you can almost, it, it's almost like Twitter or Instagram where you can follow people and see how they are trading and what they are trading. Um, going into this, eToro operates in the U.S. in several international markets. It enables its users to trade stocks, exchange traded funds, ETFs, commodities, currencies, and crypto assets. eToro says that these features will make it truly global multi-asset trading platform, which is great. Uh, you can trade your commodities and your currencies. Um, and again, it's very international. They definitely focus on you know your European markets and in other countries outside of the U.S. Um, the deal values eToro at roughly $9.6 billion. Fintech will contribute $250 million in cash. Investors, including SoftBank, ThirdPoint, and Fidelity, will contribute an additional $650 million via a private placement in public equity, Pipe, at $10 per share. So $10 per share is what they are getting. Um, and these are definitely huge companies that are trying to get in on this as well. SoftBank, Fidelity, huge private inter interest in um, eToro. 
Uh, the merger is expected to close in the third quarter, so that's important to note. Uh, subject to uh, shareholder approval, the combined company plans to list its shares on the NASDAQ exchange and operate as eToro Group LTD. So the third quarter is when we'll, looking, we'll be looking for this company to be traded on the NASDAQ, but um, definitely keep that in mind moving forward. Uh, Fintech clearly appreciates eToro's impressive growth. The popular trading platform added more than 5 million new registered users in 2020 that helped to fuel a 147% surge in gross revenue to $605 million. Better still, eToro's growth is accelerating. The company added an average of 192,000 new users per month in 2019. Last year, that figure climbed to 440,000. eToro is off to an even faster start in 2021 after gaining over 1.2 million new registered users in January alone. So as you can see, this company is definitely growing rapidly, and they definitely wanted to get on it now while and get a part of that growth um, early before they continue to grow and become way too valuable and everyone's in on it. So this is definitely a very interesting play for you guys. And it's definitely super, super early as this was just announced yesterday. So if you guys want to get on it early, now is the time. And we'll be getting into a little bit um, how you can do this moving forward. Let's get onto the charts here. Um, <laughs> we haven't had four e row, which is great. Um, so moving forward, we have a huge candle right here, but we're going to go into the 15 minute because we can't really plan um, some long term trades in this area as we don't have any price action um, previously for this stock. As you can see, it's very new here. So we're going to go down to the 15 minute and try to plan some um support and resistance line so you guys kind of know uh, some important key areas for this stock. So as you can see here, we have a very strong support here at the bottom. And then we kind of have our resistance right here at the top. And you can see it broke above here to enter into this new range. And it looks like uh, the pre-market uh, price is definitely testing this area of support. So we'll see it, uh, where it opens and where it goes from here, but we could see it coming back down to break the support and enter into this range again. However, we have pretty much a solid uh, green candle running right through this range. So you might be able to get that again if it goes like this today, just a solid break right back through. And then we could even get a test uh, to this support again, which I would definitely see it uh, holding as we have the 50 EMA here. So if you're looking, your best entry would probably be in the $12 range to continue up for this stock. But again, let's support our other lines. We have a resistance here. Um, as you can see, it came up tested here and then it used this as a support again. So if you, after you break a, a resistance, it then becomes your support. We then have our next resistance line here, um, which it could not break, came back down to test the support broke here, which then we could not break anything above here on the day. So I, we have our final resistance here. So this is kind of what we're looking like, um, here today. However, uh, let's kind of plan and uh, see like what we can do to get in on this uh, stock here. So again, we are pre-market here at 13.55. And let's just plan that we um, do not break below the support. And I'll kind of show you guys what that would look like. So if we get strong confirmations to bounce off of this support, like we did here, to continue to the upside, uh, we will then be taking this stock probably around here, just like these candles. Uh, we're taking about the same kind of area uh, to get a strong kind of confirmation to show that we are going to go up We'll be taking our first price target here, which is pretty short, but it is a resistance line for us that we were not be able to break in the past. So it's kind of a trouble area. We'll be taking up to there, taking our first partial profit. And then we have our stop just below um, in this area here. Kind of give yourself some room. If it does continue to break this support, you do not want to be in this trade anymore. However, if we do get a break just similar to this, we will then be taking it up to our next price target here at 1452. Price will then be moved up to this resistance, now now a support um, at 13 almost $14. Uh, and then we will be moving. So it looks like um, this wick right here is probably a good place to put your stop loss. Uh, I like to use candle formations, and it kind of gives you some room just in case price does go back down. But it will keep you in profits if you're taking out. So make sure you're trailing those stop loss. And then um, if we continue to move up, uh, we'll, we'll be taking our second you know, partial profit here, reducing our position. We'll then be taking our final price target here at 15. Um, 
moving price up to here at 1455. Again, reduce your risk. Um, you can even do, I would say, right in here in the middle of this kind of wick here, kind of give yourself a little bit of room. You don't have to go all the way to the bottom. If you guys want to risk a little more, you could go to the bottom of this wick. However, it's up to you. It's your capital. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I say on this channel is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So please do your own diligence and trade based on your own opinions. But again, you could use the bottom of this wick um, if you're willing to risk a little more. And then our final kind of resistance is here. If you are more long-term bullish on this stock, you could definitely leave your position and not take out a majority here. However, if you do not think that this stock is going to continue up higher than the $15 range, I would definitely recommend taking out most of your position here at the 15, um, 34, 36 um, resistance line. If you are just trying to trade, get in and out quickly on this stock. But yes, if you are more long-term bullish, you can leave a majority of your position if you see it going higher. However, we do not have pr past price action to show us um, any any kind of um, support and resistances in this area. So I recommend taking out most of your position. However, do as you wish. Uh, but I think that's all the value I had today for you guys on uh, FTCV and their merger with eToro. If you like this video, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, and I also have my Instagram link down below if you would be interested in, it, in that. But as always, guys, I hope you have an excellent day. Get some gains in the market. Good luck with that. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.